So just because he works a nine lady, to five or he lady, doesn't make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, lady, that makes him low value. Lady, lady. Wait a minute. My name is Crystal. Crystal. Okay, wait a minute. I'm so distracted by that head. I like that. Thank you. Why do okay. you think you don't have a high value, man? Why well, I don't think I have one? I don't think I've necessarily ran into one yet. Why do you think that's the case? Well, okay, so what do you consider a high value man? Let's start there. The opposite of the low value men that y'all let run up out of, in and out of your cooter cat. The opposite of those. Okay, so high have value men run up in cooter cat. Men, that's the opposite of the type of men that you usually would let run up in and out of you. Well, see, you talking about I don't let people run in and out of me. Like, what kind of man? You talking about? Okay, let's just say the Tyrone. How many, how many men have you been? You're intimate talking about Tyrone. With? No, how many men have you been intimate with in your lifetime? Eight. Really? Yes. And what are you like? Thirty-seven? Thirty-eight? No, nowhere near it. Actually, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, I'm thirty. I'm thirty-one. I have no children, no abortions. What is that chest tattoo of? What is that? That's a heart and a dagger. What is this supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. Nothing related to like love or me work, walking around like this bitter black woman and no shit like that. I liked it. I got this when I was like eighteen. Just liked it. That was all. It don't have any like heartbroken meaning or some sad ass heartbroken story behind it. You just like the heart with a dagger through it when you was 18? What's wrong That's with that? It was not. You talking about an 18 year old now? Come on. <laughs> yeah, but it's not common that a woman at 18 is going to get a tattoo right in the middle of her chest with a, with a knife what? or with a dagger going through the heart. That's not common. What's like but what's coming to you? Like, okay, so hold how were you lady, Hold on, lady. 18 year olds get butterflies and quotes and stuff like that. Not no damn dagger going through the heart. How do you know what 18 year olds do? You can't speak for every 18 year old. You can't put every 18 year old under one umbrella. You can't do that. Just like you can't take every black woman, put her up under every umbrella saying she just lets un high value men just run in and out of her. That's not every black woman. The fact that you have to ask me what a high value man is tells me you've never had one. No, everybody that's has that's different. I can say you everybody had, has different. How many children? Do everybody you have? has different views of what many, a high value person. Children? Some people. Okay, many, so is a man how, that works a nine to five job high value? Is a man that works a nine to five job high value? Hold on. A versus minute. a man that went you to an Ivy League college and has a corporate position job. You want me to ask you the questions? How many children do you have? I have none. No children, no abortions. Okay, I didn't ask you that. But that's what people like to go into because I'm a third year old woman with no children. Oh, life? you just uh, you just got rid of no, I didn't do that. Night. I'm sorry, what you say? When was your last relationship? Uh, a year ago. Okay. What did he do for a living? Um, he had two jobs. He worked at like he worked at a diner overnight and during the day he did like construction or some shit like that. Okay, I don't so exactly. He, he he was he was doing side jobs and part time jobs. He didn't have no career. Okay, so that's already red flag number one. Okay, so but see, he was a working man though that brought home a check. He did not sell dope. Like that's what some that's hold what you think minute. some men hold are. Hold on a he brought in a check. That's hold a high minute. value man to me. Hold on a he minute. brought home money to me. Hold on a minute. He helped me out. Hold on a minute. So just because he works a nine to five or he lady, doesn't make over a hundred thousand dollars a year lady, that makes him low value? Lady, lady. Wait a minute. My name is Crystal. Crystal. Okay, wait a minute. I'm so distracted by that head. I like that. Thank you. No disrespect to your wife if you got anybody, but that's cool. But we're talking about low value men and high value men. Okay. It's not fair Crystal, to call a man low value Crystal, just because relax. he has a nine to five. Crystal, relax for a minute. I'm relaxed. I'm cool. I'm chill. You're doing too much. I'm not doing enough. I don't think so. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> let me get back to what I was saying. The man that you were with, why didn't it work out? Um, he had some things, personal things going on that I really didn't want to deal with. So like we just decided it was it was like, best to just stay friends. Like what? Um, he was he was into a. Like, I don't know. He was just into some other stuff that I just wasn't with. Like what? You're not making no sense. He was into what other stuff? He didn't. He wasn't on no dope. So what was he into? He like, he was one of those men that had a past but changed. But like, you know, sort of kind of like that street dude. He used to be, but he wasn't. But he sort of kind of unfortunately started hanging out with certain people that was still into that kind of street street shit. And I saw it and I was like, what the hell's going on? It was like, uh, it's like, you're going on this, this straight path. You got two jobs, taking great care of your kids. How long were Why even together? associate with those type of people? I felt how like, were, how long were y'all together? Two years. And you think he was a high value man? A man that brings home a check, works two jobs, comes home, that. helps with bills. You think he was yes, a high value man? You thought he was a high value man? Not Thank all you. the way high value, you know. But again, he still brought home a check. He he would then just sit around on the couch, play listen, video lady, game. Listen, lady, there there is no man. My name is Crystal. Crystal, there is no man that has all of this good job and he's coming home and he's fighting, he's doing all this stuff, but he's also dibbing and dabbing in the streets. That don't even make sense. And you don't know that. I mean, I mean that's still, you, a person still going to go know, out. And you, and you to act like you don't know that from the jump. There is First no all, woman, there is no woman, <laughs> there is no woman that would see me from the jump, be getting to know me, talking to me and be like, Oh yeah, you know what? I I don't I didn't know nothing about him being interested in, in wearing suits and none of that. There's no way she would know. This is why I asked you. You would be okay, able to see the street. She would be able to see that I wear suits. So a high value man is only a man that wears suits. I don't you believe what that. I just said. You're not gonna hit. What did you just say? You're acting like you didn't know he was still dibbing and dabbing. He was into the streets. It just magically. I told you he had a pass. I, that well, came out of just, my own mouth. Oh, really? Okay. He had a pass. What was he locked up for in the past? Oh he didn't go to jail for anything. He was just, you know. You said he had a pass. How do you know he never been locked up? D well, first of all, there's way too many sites where you can do background checks, and he was, you ain't I was no very clear with everything that was going on. You here. sitting up there lying. You ain't, he never, never, ain't nobody lying. On his ass. You sitting up there lying. That's why you laughing right now. You ain't never did no background Because checks. you mad. Because how are you going to tell me how I would deal with this Baby, individual? You sitting up there lying. You never did no background lying. check on him. So every man that Pull used to probably hang out the streets, so all of them have a record. Paperwork. Go get the file where you saved his background check. Show me the paperwork right now. Go go get it. Somebody I dealt somebody I dealt with a, a year ago. Go get yeah. Go get it. You still have it. Go get it. I don't have no file on this man. <laughs> you lying ass. Ain't nobody lying. And y'all yeah. know I'm not yeah, gonna hang are. up. Yeah yeah you are. Yes you are. You ain't did no background check on this man. You was letting him run it all up in your cooter cat. The street, it was fine. It was fine when it was street when he was running in and out of your cooter cat. I bet you then. It was fine when he was treating you street and treating you like you was one of them street girls when you was in and out of that thing, wasn't it? He wasn't treating me that way. This what part he of that did, don't you get? Was it was it good? Was it good? Be honest. Did he was it good to Why you? Why are you worried about what's going on with my vagina? Because we know that's the only what? reason. Didn't you hang why, up on me for talking that junk stuff two, earlier? Why else would you put up with him for two years if it wasn't no good? Was it good or because not? Because he was. it good? Because he was good why, to why me. Wanna, no, was it good? Was it good in the bedroom? Yes or we're no? We're not talking about sex. Are we not seeing not in the bedroom? Do that. Was it good or not? Was it good or not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Huh? I'm not answering that because that's that's really irrelevant as hell. 
We're talking about whether the fact you know what, he was lady, a high value think, man or not. When you asked me that, I, I, I said he wasn't listen, all the way high value. Listen, I think probably at 18 years old, the ink from that tattoo in the middle of your chest. And all them weaves and stuff, I tell you all the time, all them chemicals from the weave and chemicals from that tattoos and chemicals from the nail salons and chubby, all them chemicals be getting into y'all head and seeping through y'all brain and you sniffing them in and it just be eating y'all common sense away. That's what I see with you. Common sense gone. Weave and dye chemicals, glue, nail glue, hair glue, eyelash glue, all that stuff is tearing y'all brain up. Well, you see some eyelashes. Well, you see some nails. You ain't never worn <laughs> fake nails, really? Your ass is I've worn them before. Press-ons, yes. Only press-ons. But see, my thing is, I'm not here to like, you never I'm not here to make you happy. You I'm never, here to please you. I'm not, you I wear what I want to wear, wear, sir. At the end of the day, we're here to talk. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with your lying ass no more. You go. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.